it's my pleasure to introduce to you Dr. Jing Xu, who is the Principal Research Manager at Cambridge Assessment, the University of Cambridge in the UK. Um, Dr. Xu, over to you. Thank you, Hannah. I'm going to share my screen right now. Hello, good morning from Cambridge, UK. Uh, my name is Jing. So I work in the research division of Cambridge Assessment English. So for those of you who don't know much about Cambridge Assessment, it's a non-teaching department of the Cambridge University and has three con uh, examination boards, Cambridge Assessment English, Cambridge Assessment International Education, and OCR. So Cambridge Assessment English actually produce or develops a wide range of English language assessments uh, like IELTS, Cambridge English Qualifications, and more recently, Lingua Skill. So the topic of my talk today is building an artificial intelligence to assess and teach English writing. Um, I plan to talk for about 10 minutes. Um, uh, I will start by uh, talking about Cambridge's vision about applying AI to language education. And then I will narrow the focus to automated writing assessment in Powered by AI. And I will leave about two to three minutes to showcase um, a product called Writing Improve, uh, which is a online learning tool to improve writing, which has been developed based on AI technology. All right, here we go. Um, so first we need to define what is AI. Um, uh, Niels John uh, Nielsen was an American computer scientist and uh, one of the founding researchers in the area of artificial intelligence. He defines AI, um, sorry, I'm gonna close this window. He defines AI as an activity devoted to making machines intelligent and intelligence in his term is a quality that enables the entity to function properly and with foresight in its environment. Uh, more recently, uh, machine learning scientists have further elaborated this idea of machine intelligence. They regard it as the science of training systems to learn, reason, and act from data. Um, many people, actually industry leaders, such as Mark Zuckerberg and Bill Gates have envisioned the coming area of artificial intelligence and predict that the AI revolution will be on the same scale as the industrial revolution. Admit or not, AI research has made rapid and amazing progresses in many areas such as self-driving cars, medical diagnosis, human-like gaming, game playing, and financial prediction and autom automated trading. Um, what I'm gonna talk about is applying AI uh, to language education. So we are creating AI marker or AI assessor or AI teacher with the help of machine learning technology. Uh, so with this vision, Cambridge University established a virtual institute called uh, the Institute of Automated Language Teaching and Assessment back in 2013. So it consists of four departments one is Cambridge Assessment English, uh, which is the sponsor, uh, which provides research funding to the institute and also data, learner data, which are derived from uh, assessment uh, and also learning products. And uh, the other department includes Computer Lab, which mainly works on uh, text processing or writing assessment, and also Department of Engineering, which focuses on speaking assessment. So they are working on speech engineering. And, and finally, but, but also important component of this institute is the Department of Theoretical and Applied Linguistics. So this department actually provides the foundational research on the construct of language proficiency. So it tells, informs the research on AI in terms of what features account for language proficiency. Okay, the mission statement, which is announced by Paula Buttery, the director of ALTA and also a professor in computer lab is that ALTA carries out cutting edge research, combining machine learning and natural language processing to investigate personalized, personalized adaptive approaches assessment, which will benefit learners and teachers worldwide. You can see a list of people, uh, different stakeholders from different 
departments. Ted Bresco is from computer lab. Uh, Mark Gales is from uh, the department of engineering. And also the representative of Cambridge assessment is sitting on the committee board as well. Um, so there are four main research areas of ELTA. Uh, and the first two we tackle in the past seven years uh, is automated assessment and automated feedback. So why are we are interested in that? And it is because um, automated assessment actually um, will pro provide a highly reliable test scores um, as compared to human whose performance uh, may be affected by fatigue and also uh, uh, affected by lack of training. Uh, once the computer is trained uh, with large amount of data, it always assess and provide feedback consistently. And also compared to human, the computer can, can provide almost instantaneous feedback or scores to language performance. And also it kind of meet the need of on-demand testing. So you don't have to book an appointment anymore to, to take a language assessment like IELTS. You always have to go to the test center and then take the test. But uh, automated assessment and AI actually facilitate the idea of on-demand testing. And also, most important thing is that we, as a testing organization, we realize that tests should inform learning uh, in many ways. So we're not only uh, aiming to give learners or candidates a score, but also performance-based feedback that will help improve their learning. So this is the vision that's shared by a few applied linguists and Cambridge, Cambridge Assessment English. So we think that learn a language that they produce either in practice, in assessment, can prompt feedback. Uh, it's, the feedback can be a score, uh, it can, it can al also be used for high stake decision making or can inform students about the correctness of their language. So the, their performance should somehow lead to feedback which will enhance learning. Now I'm gonna move on to uh, the focus of the topic today, which is automated writing assessment. Uh, at this moment, there are two test products which is empowered by our AI technology, which is a text auto marker developed by Cambridge Alta. So this is the interface of lingual skill test. It's a computer-based English writing test, which consists of two parts. Uh, the first part is an email writing task. It's a short writing task. And the second part is an extended writing task. It can be argumentative essay, can be expository essay. Uh, so it's a longer write, extended writing task. And the, the learners will actually read a prompt in the left uh, window and also uh, enter text or um, enter writing in the right window. So the text actually is being auto-marked by an AI marker uh, and it will produce almost instantaneous test results to the learners. And the results actually are aligned to the Common European Framework of Reference, which is the international standard for describing language ability. Uh, you can see the score report provided by LinguaSkill. Uh, so it's reporting a CFR level uh, from uh, A1 uh, to C2. And also it reports a more granular uh, score, which is a Cambridge English scale score, um, which is kind of provide more information on the, of, about the progress you have made uh, in learning a language. Um, and th we actually recently did uh, some evaluation on the auto marker performance. Uh, so this is the correlation between the automated scores and the gold standard human scores. The gold, by gold standard, we mean that we have a pool of examiners marking the scripts at the same time and applied a uh, statistic model, which we use the RASH model to adjust each individual learner uh, rater's leniency and harshness to produce a kind of fair score out of the pool uh, of the pooled examiner data. So we consider this a gold standard. So the correlation is about 0.8 uh, in the first task and the 0.88 uh, in the second task. You know, if a correlation is above 0.8, we consider there's a strong relationship between uh, the two variables. So we can say that the computer actually agree with the human quite well in terms of marking uh, learners writing. And the reason why the second task, uh, the computer performed uh, better in the second task is that the second task is longer. So it generates more features uh, for computers to mark, which I will discuss uh, in more details later. And also we uh, did evaluation on uh, the, the severity of marking between human 
and AI rating. So this is a, a, a output of multifaceted rash analysis. Uh, you can see in the in the first in the second column is the rater column. Uh, so there are six raters, and number six is the computer rater or the AI rater. Uh, you can see that they are almost on the same level in terms of severity, except uh, rater four, which is a human rater. Uh, this rater is harsher than others, but. Uh, uh, the four raters, including the computer, are almost at the same level of severity, which is a very good sign of the reliability of computer marking. Um, and another tool I'm going to demonstrate later is uh, called Writing Improve. Uh, this is not an assessment product. This is a learning product, which allows learners to practice writing online um, and uh, receive instantaneous feedback on their writing. Uh, so this is the interface of writing proof. Um, so you rewrite in the in the left window, and the, the computer actually will generate feedback uh, on your performance. You you will receive a CFL level, and then you will receive a, a detailed feedback on, on your performance, including errors, including suggestions. The feedback can be implicit and explicit. So there are different types of feedback. So there are word level feedback, which focus on work words and also sentence level feedback which focus on the syntax uh, of your writing um, and uh, the feedback can be very um, rhetorical asking rhetorical question so is this an in, in, incorrect word actually um, it's kind of a subtle kind of hint that uh, uh, there might be something wrong here so it's like an imitating teacher's tone in providing feedback um, we try to not to uh, make the feedback too overwhelming. So some of the feedback is just the highlighted sentences and the learners are supposed to uh, figure out the error by themselves, uh, but some are more kind of straightforward and direct. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about how the auto marker works uh, or training the AI, uh, AI marker. So basically uh, we have a large amount of training data uh, which is uh, kind of extracted from uh, assessment uh, existing candidates performance in, in assessments and uh, there's a feature extracted component which will extract different features from writing uh, from grammar to vocabulary to syntax and uh, uh, so when, what the computer sees is uh, a number of features or we call it a, a feature array and, uh, and the machine learning algorithm, algorithms will learn these features and match them with human scores. So these actually training data all come with gold standard human score. So the machine learning program will associate those features with the existing human scores. So when the new script come in, of new student writing come in, it will assign a score based on the learned pattern. So it provides a machine score based on what it learned uh, from the feature matching with the score. Okay, the training data of the auto marker is the Cambridge Learner Corpus, which is a really large corpus, which is compiled by Cambridge English Assessment, Assessment English and Cambridge University Press since 1993. Um, and it consists of data from uh, Cambridge English qualifications, IELTS and the lingua skill. Um, and uh, kind of the quantity, the number of words is about 55 million words and it's increasing annually. And we have demographic information about the learners, about the, write, uh, the writers from gender to L1 to examiner marks. And a, a sub portion, a subset of data is error coded, uh, which means um, actually we, we have a, a group of annotators who, which, who mark the errors in their writing. And this error coded data will be used to train the computer to recognize an error in the same way. Okay, this is the uh, general overview of the feature space. So the auto marker currently uh, focus on four different types of features. One is single and multi-word expressions, single words versus collocations or multi-word expressions. And the part of a speech tagging is about uh, a verb, whether it's a verb, noun, or preposition, um, and the grammatical complexity is about a syntax and a grammar error like uh, current, uh, present, past tense, uh, prepositions, articles, etc. And also the final component, error detection, which is trained based on the error coded data and to uh, train a computer to provide feedback. So this is the quick example, um, which shows you the parsing tree of the computer. So the sentence is parsed in different components. So 
if you want to tell how complex this sentence is, uh, the computer will make a judgment of the depth of this parsing tree. So the deeper the tree is, the more complex the sentence is in terms of syntax. Um, I'm afraid I'm, I will lack time to showcase the writing proof, but I'm gonna show you the interface right quickly. So if you Google uh, Cambridge English Writing Improve, start practicing now. And you will see uh, you can choose different levels. So let's say we, we pick a topic, make a video, and uh, to save time, I'm gonna co copy and paste text into into the box and you can submit this essay to the computer. The computer will uh, mark it in like 10 seconds. So you will see the fee feedback pop up right away uh, in the right window. And you can check the level. So this is the B1 script. And the, this feature is about content relevance, whether you're writing on the topic or not. Um, and you can see your progress here. So you're B1, but uh, if you uh, make revisions here, uh, submit again, you will see your progress here in this chart. Um, and here we have the, a class view, which means allows the teacher to actually track student progress uh, at the same time. So you can see how many submissions the students have made. Uh, it's more like class management. Uh, but I think that this is a paid version, but Writing Improve itself is a free online learning tool uh, for learners. Okay, um, I think that's the so, end of yes. my presentation. Thank, thank you, Dr. Shu. That was, um, that was very interesting. So thank you for sharing that with us. Um, we've actually just finished doing some linguist skill testing and using Write and Improve. So it's good to hear okay. what happened.